Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So I want to show you this article and a couple of other little things. And this is by Andy Chang. He is a retired geophysicist. He re received a, a bachelor's of science degree from Cheng Kung University in Taiwan. He has a master's. Anyway, he's got degrees. A PhD from Rice University. This guy is pretty smart, right? He's worked for DARPA. DARPA, you know, that's, that's pretty big time. And he's worked for the Navy's Acoustic Research Program, right? So this guy is seriously credible. And so he thinks that the Earth's magnetic pole has already shifted. And he's thinking that the Indonesian quake, that one big one, did not cause the rotational axis to shift, but the Earth's magnetic pole was shifted because of it. And we've seen some massive quakes this year, up in that 8.3 and in that range, but so deep too that they cause tremendous movement. And so, as he says here, you know, he, he's always taking his regular walks and everything, and because he is who he is, he's always checking exact, specific placements of where the sun's rising, where the sun's setting. And so, after returning from a walk one day, he noticed that it was off. And it was significantly off and it just struck him as wow this is a major discovery so we know that the rotational axis of the earth and the, and the actual magnetic pole is different we also know that when a large earthquake occurs the earth's rotational axis will sway and so in in about 1983 an indian seismologist who taught at toronto university in canada who was a friend of andy's uh, published a paper that showed the Earth's rota rotational axis will sway after a big quake. So he remembered that the rising sun's position was north uh, 90 east two weeks ago on the autumnal equinox day, September 22nd. This means the axis shift had be uh, occurred between September 22nd and October 7th. During this two-week period, a large 7.5 occurred offshore Indonesia on September 28th. So though nobody knows it, he believes that the axis shift of the Earth was caused by that 7.5 Indonesian quake on September 28th. And as he goes on to say, he's a retired seismologist for more than 20 years. So he has no way now to publish a discovery at a professional conference. But he can't claim this discovery in his blog and hope that other ones, other seismologists will follow up. And so basically, it's changing and it's shifted and the major earthquake that we had back then is a reason for this so so many of you guys have been saying well the sun's not rising in the same place it's not setting in the same place well we've had a lot of these big quakes and there's a lot going on in the inside of the earth right now and there's a lot going on basically with every planet in the solar system and the sun itself there's huge changes going on and many believe it's caused by, you know, Planet X, Nibiru, Nemesis, Wormwood, whatever you want to call it, but some sort of planetary or stellar body. And so he's just begging for somebody that's still active in the field to go and please check it out because the magnetic pole has shifted. And then the thought is when it gets to a certain point, then we have crustal displacement. And that's when we run into basically all sorts of havoc um, because that would be major major problems we'd have tsunamis we're, we're gonna have all sorts of wild winds and here's another article saying earth's magnetic field could flip much faster than previously thought and again it's all about the magnetosphere it's all about the relationship between the earth and the sun and the last full complete geomagnetic reversal occurred 780,000 years ago it's way overdue it should usually happen about every two or three hundred thousand years. So it's way overdue. A lot of times there's excursions and then, you know, where it'll start to go and then it'll pop on back. And so it's overdue and it can happen so much faster, so much faster than what they had thought previously. And it is drifting quickly. Uh, you know, the magnetic poles are both moving. And interestingly enough, they're both kind of moving towards the same areas, you know, over towards the Indian Ocean. So you have the, the southern pole magnetic is moving this way and the north pole is moving towards Siberia. And they're both heading to, for a meeting somewhere over in the Indian Ocean, which sounds like it couldn't happen, but 
then basically you'll have a period where kind of everything goes down, so to speak, and then you'll have a new alignment of a new uh, North Pole and a new South Pole. And uh, as we have seen, if, if you guys have watched on this before, uh, you could actually have more than one pole as well. And uh, I gotta go back through some of my older videos. Uh, I forget the name of the gentleman that did some experiments with plasma, and he really shows exactly how it happens as it decreases in power, and when it gets down very to a very low point, such as the magnetosphere declining uh, to a low enough point, then we actually get a true reversal. Now. Gravity data suggests that Ceres poles experienced a re re reorientation, and it's a topographical analysis uh, that they took that shows, or it indicates, that Ceres pole took an indirect path from its previous orientation to its current orientation. And actually, when we look at that, it actually shifted by 36 degrees. It's interesting, too, because we see there are many people that have been predicting that it's going to happen, and as far as a, a pole shift and uh, that would be within what some have said it would it's going to be uh, and we also have all these changes happening with say Jupiter like the great red spot well it's shrinking so there's there's changes going on with all the planets in the solar system with the Sun itself so everything is relaxing uh, reacting electromagnetically with each other and probably according to you know, what's something, what's something else. And in case you guys don't know, Jupiter officially has 12 new moons and has actually 70, 79 moons now. That's, that's a lot of moons. So a lot of these are smaller, but, uh, you know, I find, I find it very interesting as well as many other people that now they've discovered so many more moons just in like the last six months or so a year very very interesting and so you know we have Jupiter picking up all these moons including one that's going retrograde it's going in the opposite direction to all the others and we have you know uh, the great red spot shrinking we get a lot of evidence coming out that other planets are in, are are experiencing you know changes such as series re reorientation of poles and then of course we have the leaking that um, the Earth's magnetic field could flip much faster than previously thought. And as we said earlier, start this, and then we have Andy Chang, who has, he's of the opinion that the magnetic pole has is, is taken a major shift already. And so it would be just a matter of time before we have a catch up and you get a actual crustal displacement event. So very interesting times we live in to say the least, my friends. What are your thoughts on all this as usual? Please do thumbs up to support the channel, subscribe, click the bell so you get all the notifications and share with as many people as possible. Let's stay abreast of everything that's happening out there. As always, my friends, God bless and namaste.